Good morning. Good morning. Saturday the Saturday the 9th of January. Pretty slippy. Good morning. I trust everyone is well. It's beautiful here. Well, that's one foot in. Two feet in. Oh, that's pretty solid. Tad difficult this morning. Goodness, yeah, the, the ice is sharp. Goodness, I think I needed a hammer for today. Good morning, everybody. I hope everyone is well. Oh. Oh. Good morning. Anyway, I hope everyone is well. And yesterday, out of two years almost of doing this since my daily practice, yesterday was probably the hardest day that I've done and on reflection I wondered why that was this is quite cool because this is quite cool because I can actually like use the ice as like a little like a little ledge to rest my hands on oh it's nice right so this was my lesson from yesterday for the first time in two years I actually found it very difficult and when I retraced my steps back to how I approached the water, I was actually reluctant about coming yesterday from the moment I got out my bed. And somewhere I allowed that to control me. I came down to the water and I was, I was walking towards it with my shoes on, just assessing where I was going to go in and stuff like that, what my route was going to be. Um, I was saying, oh, I don't really know if I want to do this. And... Uh, it, oh, it's minus six outside and all that kind of stuff, right? And then I came in and I did my little vlog from the water as normal and then I found it really, really difficult to get a heat in me yesterday when I got out of here. I was super struggling, right? So my reflection on that was the intention of which I came to the water with, which is actually pretty ironic because... Um, I did a vlog a few days ago where I had actually offered some advice to a young chap, Mr. Schooler, about how he was approaching the water. Oh, I've got like a wee neck rest. That ice is right on my neck. It's lovely. Oh, God, it's so healing. Oh. So intention is absolutely everything. And I bang on about that all the time. But. One of my favourite passages in the Bible is let your no be no and your yes be yes for anything in between is of the evil one, okay? So if you're not going to do something, don't do it and be okay with that. Don't sit and roll it over in your head. Oh, I should have done that. I could have done that. I could have done that better. I could have done that differently, etc., etc. If you're all in, be all in. If you're all out, be all out. Don't sit in the middle. Don't sit in the fence. And yesterday, that's where I was. And I felt the effects 
of not paying attention to my own knowledge, my own advice, my own what I would say to anybody. So today, um, minus 10, jumped in the car and looked at the minus, well, it was actually minus 10.5, right? Ego, my ego was the minus 10.5. And even as I looked at it, I smiled at it rather than going, oh no, it's minus 10. Don't get froze into that mind. Jeez, oh. Um, morning, Marty Lee. I see you're open to three o'clock today. I hope you're successful. I hope you have business. You know, my mind just kind of went a wee bit funny there as well. I went, what happens if this freezes while I'm in here and then I'm frozen in here and I'm trapped in here? That would be funny. So how we approach things with the correct attention is absolutely vital. Um, and it's getting our mindset in the right place before we do absolutely anything. Good morning, Mr. Campbell. I hope you're well. And oh, it's just beautiful. Look, I feel as if I'm in a rather large gin and tonic. It's just absolutely stunning. Look at the trees up here. Mindset is absolutely everything and how we approach things. So we're either going to be all in or we're going to be all out. Don't sit somewhere in between and don't allow your mind to take you down avenues which is not effective for your development. Let me just check the time here. Ten past nine. We're good. So the struggle is going to be actually getting out of here. I'm not going to be able to get out of here that gracefully this morning. I made a very small path out of the water. Ah, yeah, it's just watching it as well. Like, um, let me just focus on getting out of here. There we go. I managed it. Winter wonderland. It's all in your mind. It's how we approach things. A lot of what's in our mind has been conditioned and is not true and is inaccurate and is ineffective. And in order for us to remember who we are, we've really got to unlearn all of the things that we've been told, that, we've, that we believe is true, which is not necessarily true. So... I would have hoped to have seen you here, Mr. Fraser, this morning, but alas, you're lying in your bed. Probably the wife has brought you a rolling sausage and a wee cup of tea and you're nice and relaxed and chilled out. So, in order for us to truly remember who we are, We've got to forget all the things that we've been told. And a lot of the stuff that we're being told, we're telling ourselves now. We've internalised all those critical voices. And we've internalised all these critical voices. And I'm just going to take my, give me a second, I just need to get myself ready. Right, so my learning from yesterday was how I approached the water. I approached it all wrong. I approached it with the wrong mindset. I approached it perhaps with fear and resistance. And I was really resistant about going in yesterday and I had the worst time in the water that I've had in two years of doing it. This morning, I'm fine because I got myself in the right place. But I got myself in the right place not when I got here. I got myself in the right place before I went to my bed last night. So before I went to my bed last night, 
and there was lots of people talking last night around about how cold a night it was and how cold it was and all that kind of stuff. So I went, well, I'm going to the water tomorrow. It means it's going to be pretty cold. How do I feel about that? So as I was lying in my bed, before I went to sleep, I programmed my morning and saw me being the opposite of resistant, being open, being expansive, getting myself ready for it. I programmed this already happening. I saw myself coming down here and a friend on Facebook, believe it or not, right here, this, this walkway, a friend of mine on Facebook, Nadia, Nadia posted a picture of this walkway yesterday in like maybe summer or spring. So I looked at that photograph pretty much just before I went to bed and I had that imprinted in my head. Now, I know logically that it was going to be like this, but I saw it in my head as the picture that Nadia had, right? And the more that I saw that picture of how Nadia had it, rather than what it is, freezing cold and very icy, I started to feel different about how I was going to approach it. So I got myself into the right frame of mind. I programmed myself last night doing this and saw myself being okay with it and saw myself not being taken captive by the resistant thoughts of which were being thrown at me by people taking pictures of the minus 10, minus 13 um, on their cars last night. And I went, I'm just going to go down and get it done. So even before I approached my car this morning and I jumped in, I tried to have a guess of what the temperature gauge was going to be. I had no idea. And it was minus 10.5. And when I looked at it, and I was very tuned into my body, I was tuned into how I was feeling, I asked myself, is this feeling contractive or expansive? And as I looked at the minus 10.5, I allowed my body to expand and smile and start to feel sort of joy and a wee bit of hilarity. So, we can either get driven along in a journey that's being dictated by our external environment and a lot of that can be where we have interjected uh, an inner voice, an inner critic. And that inner critic voice could be a school teacher, or you don't want to do that, or you don't want to do this, or you don't want to do the next thing. I shared this story in the summer, I did a very, very, um, I did a pretty dangerous hike. Um, I did the Anakinuk Ridge and um, we did it in the wrong conditions. There's absolutely no way, uh, now, that I've, now, that I, now, now I know what I know, there is absolutely no way on this earth that anybody in their right mind would have been up there that day. In fact, we were the only five idiots that were on the ridge. It's one of, one of, the, one of the longest and most scary ridge walks in uh, mainland Britain. Anyway, long story short, right? I'd been super focused getting myself over this ridge. Um, I'd been super focused getting over it and act uh, sort of relying on a lot of internal resources. So my, my focus was, was, was pretty intent. And I'm stood there, you know, we're on a very, very meter, meter, meter thick ridge, 3,200 feet um, of a drop. Right, you're not surviving that. And as I was, it was almost like I was inhabiting two worlds. As I walked towards the edge of the ridge, I knew that I knew that I was 47, I knew that I was standing, I knew where I was, but I also could feel and heard my mother's voice going, get away from the edge. Right, get away from the edge, get away from the edge. Now that voice was probably 40 years old that's residing inside of me. So we all have these inner critical voices. Some of them are school teachers. Yeah, you'll never amount to anything, Hislop. You're just a troublemaker, whatever. We've got these um, inner voices 
which are steering and guiding our inner navigational system. Our internal GPS is being guided by a lot of very critical thinkers. A lot of people that probably didn't have our best interests at heart. But now we can't blame them for that because we are now responsible for our own guidance system and how we are going to choose to be guided uh, through our environment. So blah, 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 blah. Here we go again. So yesterday was the hardest day of me going to the water. It was only minus six yesterday. It's minus ten and a half this morning. What's changed? Nothing's changed. I've changed. For the first time in two years, I realised yesterday was difficult because of nothing other than myself, nothing other than my own thinking and my own mind. I approached it with resistance and I was then met with suffering. The resistance of suffering only creates more suffering, okay? Resistance is futile. The more that you go towards something with a rigid mindset, there is a much more of a chance. Good morning, sir, are you well? Morning, good, good. If you approach anything with a rigid mindset, you are much more at chance of snapping. If you can approach things with a flexible mindset, where you have got the ability and power to program your internal navigational system, your GPS for the best and highest good with the highest intention, it's going to work better for you. I've just proven it to myself this morning. I've lay in there in the ice, minus 10 and a half, and I'm not rattling, I'm not chittering, I'm not squealing, I'm okay. All it took was 10 minutes of my time last night before I went to bed, saw my future history, looked what I was seeing tomorrow, focused myself into the right mindset, got myself here, respected it, stood, had a look around about me this morning, knew that I was going to be okay, knew that I have got the ability to do this and know that I could get myself through it. We all have that, right? I am absolutely no different than any of the rest of these, right? A lot of ways you are probably better off than I am. Um, mere further advanced. So, that's my wee thought for the day. I wish everybody a fantastic Saturday, really. Have an absolutely blessed Saturday. And um, I hope some peace shines upon us in this. Lots of negativity in the news now and stuff like that. Lots of division. Lots of separation. Um, we're being divided. We're being split up, it would seem so. That's all going on in the outside world. We do not need to let that affect our inner world. We can still bring wholeness to ourselves and to our thinking based on how we approach things with the right intention. Have a fantastic day. All the best.